Hey guys, my name is Stephanie Contreras. I want to share with you a just small clip about something I've been saying a lot more often. That today, drinking a bottle of water is like drinking a bottle of soda. And it sounds crazy, but I'm actually going to show it to you. So I'm going to pour some of the soda here. And what we're going to actually check is what's called the oxidation reduction potential. And what that is, is literally the energy that these beverages carry. And you heard me right. Beverages will carry energy. And if they carry a positive energy, they are carrying an energy that will oxidize your body, which means that they will speed up the sickness and aging in your body. So what we're also going to test it against, why we're you know, recommending you to drink the king in water is because we have the opposite. Now, as we just turn on the water, it'll go through the machine and I will go ahead and get some 9.5 right here. And that's how quick you can actually make some water. So I have this monitor back here and this monitor is an ORP monitor and I'm going to show you the level of oxidation of soda. So we can see that this is rising and it's rising to over 330 and rising 340 and rising. We've got 350 and rising. Wow, it's still going. We've got 360 and rising. So now what I'm going to show you actually is the Dasani goes down a little bit, but you see how it's still in that 300 range. Now it went down to about 317. Now it's going up to 320. It's now going up 325, a little bit slower, but we see it going up 330. Now, do you see that? How we're still in that positive range? Okay, now let me show you here. The Aquafina went down to 298, but then it continues to rise. It's so interesting because it's just trying to find that right level of energy. Now, as I move it, it is trying to read it. So we see even 320. So all of these are in that 300 range of oxidation. Check out the king in water. Instantly in that negative side. Now we've got negative 400 and still going down. Now this is just one property. We've got positives here, which as I mentioned, 300 for the soda, 300s for the water. It's about the same damage. Now, I'm also going to show you with these pH drops. We've heard a lot about alkaline water, and people think that Kangen is alkaline, but that same antioxidant, which by having that negative charge means we have antioxidants, which means that it's slowing down sickness and aging. In this next property, I have these little drops here, which you can see. Things that are acidic are things that have a pH that is greater than 7.0. And you can see on a pH scale that they have these colors right here. Now, check out the difference with the king and water. Amazing. We have alkaline, and it is the only beverage up here that actually has alkaline. So, as you begin to make the change actually to a king and water machine, let me show you this with a fresh, um, with some fresh water. We can see here that as you begin to drink king and water, you will begin to change the state inside your body to actually have some health. Let me do it again. A few drops of Kangen and you are changing that state again. Now check out what happens with the soda. It is so acidic that it won't even change. Let me show you what happens actually if you continue to drink soda. Just a few drops of soda and you can see that you can create a lot of sickness and keep your body in a state of acidity. This is exactly why I love sharing about the king and water because what we want to do is leave our body in a state where we can be healthy. Now as we remove acidity in the body, we can prevent cancers, we can prevent sicknesses, and that's what we want to do, okay? As we bring better things into our body, you're going to be healthy. So 
I hope you enjoyed that. Just a small little clip of how to show you that drinking bottled water today is not a good choice. It's acidic, just like drinking soda. Now, as you make the change to Kangen water, your body is going to be able to cleanse and detox. But if you're still drinking this stuff, not so easy. So go ahead and make that change. And if you'd like to, give me a call, reach out to me, and thanks for watching this clip. See you on the next one.